welcome back to Boss Life. It's your host, Ebony, your favorite life coach. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and comments that you guys have been leaving for the course of the last three or four podcasts. I'm super excited to be back with you guys and my community. Thank you so much for encouraging me as I encourage you. So I would like to say I am so excited about the topic tonight. So as you see, the topic is the power in conflict. I have a quote for you guys that when I heard it, it blew my mind and I just instantly knew that that was going to be added into the rotation, okay? So the quote for tonight is, women who make history are seldom well-behaved. And to me, it is, it just resonated with me, like automatically. So to me, it means that she has decided to be the remedy to a pre-existing conflict, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't, I do not like to be hushed. I don't like to be muted. I don't like to be told to keep quiet and be cute. Like, that's not me. Like, if I have something to say, I'm going to say it. Now, granted, I am not that rambunctious, loud type of chick that you're just going to hear before you see. That's not me. Very ladylike, I am. But if something happens that I don't like or if something happens that I just happen to disagree with, I may speak up or I may not. But I feel like if it's up to me, then it should be up to me, right? So I just want to acknowledge that... <laughs> We as women in 2024 do not have to be mute and cute, okay? Let's throw it out the window. So many times, even on jobs nowadays, we feel like, oh, I have to be quiet. I have to take whatever is dished out to me. I have to deal with it because I need this job. That is not it. Not it at all, okay? You, just like you were looking for that job, you're going to be looking for another one, okay? You're irreplaceable to them at any time. Don't allow yourself to be treated any kind of way just because of a dollar amount, okay? Next, in your community. If there's something going on in your community you do not like, stand up and speak out. There are so many women who did it time and time again before you, just for you, that we should not hold our head down and be and just take whatever is dished out to us because women, we are raising other women. We're raising these little girls who are looking up to us. We, they, we are their first um, leaders. Like we are teaching them how to be the next generation. So we don't want them to say, well, you know what? My mom didn't say anything. She didn't make a big fuss about it. So neither am I, you know? No, we want them to say, you know what? My mom stood for what she believed in and so am I. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Okay. So yes, I have been told before, even on jobs, in my home, in my community, you know, just stay quiet, don't say anything, let things be as they are, things will change. But here's the thing, ladies, (laughs) how do we know things are going to change if you're not the change? Who, Who do we expect to make the change if we don't make the change? There have been millions and millions and thousands of women who've come before us who have had a hand in making the change for us, particularly for us. So if we sit back and wait for other women to make the change, how do we know that they're going to make the change? Because so many people have that other, that look away syndrome where we're thinking, oh, somebody else will call 911, so I don't have to because there's so many people around, then I just know somebody else is going to step in and, you know, like, no, like, who who do you think is going to do it if you don't do it? I, I don't get that. I've never gotten that, that mentality. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Is um, It was recent. I was at work and somebody literally said, I'm just going to keep my head down and do my job and just, you know, not say anything. And that kind of bothered me a little bit. And I was just kind of like, uh, yeah, that'd be a no for me. Like, I'm not. So, so here's the thing. This is what I'm not saying. I am not saying stir the pot. Okay. I am not saying be rambunctious. I am not saying... You know, be that girl that's seen before you're heard. That is definitely not what I'm saying because I am not that girl. But what I am saying is be the one who stands up for what she believes in. Be the one that if you're at the round table, if you have made it to the table, make a stand. Be noticeable. Okay. Be the one who says, I am going to make a change because there's so many times that we allow the generational conflicts to continue on to the next generation. And we're thinking that that next generation is going to be the one to make the change. And it's not because our children are ours. Like if you're, if your children are looking at you and they're saying, well, my mom didn't step up, why should I? 
then they're not going to do it either. And then the next generation is going to do the same thing that they're doing. So, you know, luckily this generation is totally different than us, but still like there's still racism. There's still sexism. There's still so many other isms, but you know, uh, there again, like if, if we're not leading them, you can't sit down ladies. It's, this is not the time to sit down. This is not the time to relax. Let's break down that word, okay? Let's break down conflict. So in in um in the first part of the word is con. It means with, right? Um, and then it means together, um, to to strike. So, which is pretty powerful in itself. Together to strike. So it's saying there is something in you, right, that has to come together to strike. Did that bring up anything? Is that resonating with you yet? So here's the thing. If you stay divided within yourself, okay? If you stay down, you stay depressed, you stay always going back and forth with yourself, you you can never settle on anything. And that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Like once I set my mind to something, that's it for me. I am definitely not that type of person who um, is, what's the word? Um, I don't, I don't go back and forth with myself. I I'm not indecisive. That's it. I am not indecisive. I do not like people who are indecisive. Like, pick something, go with it. That's it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do it anyway. You know? Like, don't be indecisive. So, if you're indecisive about who you are, which is great because that's why you're listening to a confidence-building podcast, but, you know, you can't get very far in life. You're always going to hit stagnated points in your life. You're always going to be stagnated for very lengthy times too. Um, Now, granted, yes, we all pause at times in life because we're trying to figure things out and that is totally okay. But when you get stagnated and you can't move and then you cause friction, um, that's when you start descending and so you never want to go down. We always want to go up, right? And then you never want to stay in one spot too long because then you get comfortable. And when you get comfortable, you kind of start to mold, right? We don't want to get moldy. Um, but let's get back on task. So if you are divided inside, you're constantly fighting against you mentally, physically, emotionally. There is no way you can break generational curses. There's no way you can break generational conflict or community conflict. Like you have to come together. So once you figure out how powerful you are, once you figure out that you have a voice, once you figure out that you can do whatever God created you to do, whether it is stand up for the people in your job, stand up for the girls in your home and your family, stand up for the women around you in your community or in your church or whatever. You but you do have to make a stand. And then you have to stand on that stand. Like you you have to stand for something or you will fall for everything. Okay? I know we've heard that that is, you know, outdated or whatever, but it is so true. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for everything. And in this generation, I'm sad to say, but it looks like a lot of people are falling for everything, okay? Um, As long as you're divided, you will always be at war with yourself. And then everything will always go around you. And then you'll always be that one that's always keeping their head down and just going through the motions of life. And then you'll always be struggling with your confidence in who you are. But once you realize the power that you hold, once you come together within you, you can strike against anything and you will be a force to be reckoned with. So tonight, we're talking about the power in conflict, okay? The power that is within you, though. Not you going out, starting fights with everybody, you know, always starting arguments, because that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about these women who have come before us, who have made powerful strides in our community and in our world, just so that we can be who we are and work on these jobs and be the women to our daughters and be the women to our aunties and be these women, these powerful women in our communities that we're leading other girls. That's what we're talking about. It's time for you to make a stand and be the woman that we were created to be and come together within you and strike so that you can be a force to be reckoned with. Because once you come together within you and become one within yourself, you will be able to do whatever you need to do. The women who have come before us, they led powerful protests on the front lines. They, they are on the Supreme Court, female pilots, female leaders, female inventors, female 
um, entrepreneurs, female entertainers, female po uh, poets, single mothers, female actresses, female judges, female vice presidents, female Olympic winners. These women all confronted conflict at some point in their life. So let me tell you, when you're saying, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to sit in my corner and I'm going to keep my head down and I'm just going to do what I can do, and this is it, that's not power. That's cowardism. And it starts within you. So there is something within you that you need to confront first so that you can confront something on the out, okay? So I don't know where the moment lies where you were broken, but you need to confront that moment. Because once you realize where that moment began, because nine times out of 10, <laughs> Every little girl was born feisty. Let me tell you, we all have some kind of feistiness in, in us that was quieted down, right? So the moment that you recognized when your feistiness got quieted, that's the moment you need to go back and wake that little girl up and say, hey, I need you. Because now is the time that I need to confront conflict. And now is the time that I need to decide who I need to be in my community, on my job in my home so that I can strike fire because I have a power within me that has been burning because I need to live on purpose, right? There's too many women out here that are not living on purpose. We're just going through the motions and we're finding so many things to do that we're keeping ourselves busy, but it's not our purpose. Why are we doing so many on purpose things that are not purposeful for us? It's easy for women to be busy. I'm telling you, I'm busy all the time. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean it's beneficial to me. That just means I'm busy. I do a lot of things for other people that have nothing to do with me or nothing to do with my family. Nothing that will benefit me at all at the end of my day. But I'm busy. So what are you doing that's keeping you busy that is non-beneficial to you or non-beneficial to your purpose? It's time for you to live on purpose. And listen, I get it. You may be saying, Ebony, I am just not that girl who can say and speak and just confront people and confront situations and just be that one who can be loud. I am not telling you to be loud. I am just saying you need to be assertive for yourself. I am telling you to assert yourself in situations where you need to. I am telling you to be that girl that your younger self needs you to be for you. Okay. I know everyone is not a fighter. I know everyone is not a frontliner. I know everyone cannot step up and be the vice president, cannot step up and be a judge, cannot step up and be an Olympic winner. But we all, as women, are warriors, okay? We all, as women, are fighters. And what I am telling you is that it is time for you to stop keeping your head down, stop hiding behind a bush, and stop allowing people to think that they can walk all over you. Because this is not the day that that will continue to happen for you, okay? Speak your mind, speak your peace, and do it as gentle, gentle as you want, okay? I am not saying be boastful, but I am saying be powerful the way that you were created to be powerful. Take back your power, take back your authority, but do it in your own way because it is time for you to live on purpose. It is time for you to get yourself together, to be one within you, and to own every inch, inch and everything that God has put in you, okay? So that is what I have for you tonight. And again, I don't know if you guys remember, but my favorite quote that I used to say all the time is, if you don't do you, you won't be done. Don't forget that. All right, ladies, that is all I have for you tonight. I hope I have stirred up something in you to help you go out tomorrow and help you to Take back your power, okay? Don't forget women who make history are seldom well behaved. So don't forget that you have the power to change our tomorrow, all right? Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review to let us know what you think. Your feedback is invaluable to, invaluable to us, so sorry. So continue to like, subscribe, and comment to help us grow and improve. Thank you, ladies. Have a great night, and I love you, and I'll talk to you next time.